faster. Okay, so we it was getting long. We decided, hey, you know what we're gonna call it, and we're gonna we're gonna make sure. I told the guys, listen, Peo escaped every single time. We're gonna kumite him. Okay, we're gonna have everybody take a back attempt until somebody subs him. Somebody has to sub him. All right, so we're going full back escape kumite. Now Peo is exhausted. Okay, but I wanted to push him hard. I want to see how far. Can we take his back escapes? Okay, so we have Zach now. And Peo is going to escape one man after another. He's going full kumite here, guys. He's going to take on 100 men if he can. Okay, there's the hip escape, hip escape. Guys, this is tiring. He has one fresh man coming in. He's being shark tanked. This is really exhausting. Anybody out there who's ever done shark tank, you know how complicated and difficult it is. You have fresh opponents coming in every single uh, round. And you just have to continuously keep escaping over and over again. This is grueling. Super, super difficult. There's Zach with the armbar escape. Fantastic. Peo also uh, escape master. Armbar escape master. Okay, now we have no breaks, guys. Yusuf on the back. We have to make this guy tap from the back. This is it, guys. We got to get him. We got to catch him. We're going to use the whole team to catch him. There's another beautiful spin escape. Armbar escape. Fantastic. Okay, now we have Hussein attacking. No breaks here. One escape after the other. Peo has officially won the Juji Club escape video. The video is already shot. You'll find it in the description. Make sure to check it out. He's going to show you all his tips and tricks on how to escape the back. There's another beautiful spinning escape, guys. He goes over his spin escape in the video. He's a master of this misdirection style spinning, spinning escape. Here's him kipping. No man can hold this dude here. It's almost impossible holding him. We got fresh bodies coming in. More fresh bodies. Finish. We want to finish. We want to see how far we can push him. How far can we push these back escapes he does? Look at this. He's doing the same escape over and over again. The misdirection escape. Pummeling his hips in. Uh, misdirecting from one direction to the other. Fighting the hands. Rotating. We got more fresh grapplers coming in. More fresh grapplers grabbing onto his back. Seeing how long they can hang on. You can see not only does he escape successfully. He escapes really quickly. Here's an armbar attempt. Another escape, Ambar escape, fantastic. Things are getting sweaty. But of course, Peo is getting tired. No doubt, he's getting tired now. He's in four or five rounds in a row here. <clears throat> There's a little lull in the action here. We're trying to find another attacker. Here we go. We got another attacker. Zax jumps back in. How many times could he escape the back? There's some good shrimping here. He's going to push down on the knees. Hip heist coming up for sure here. There it is. There's the hip heist. Another escape. Guys, it's really difficult to hold on to. He has a very, very good uh, system, back escape system. Make sure to check out his video. It's going to be in the link in the description. Here's the proof that he's a back escape expert. Okay, He does this all the time. Puts people on his back. There's the hips. He swings his hips in one direction, then escapes in another. Normally, you know, in, ba in a back escape uh, over time, though, this would be considered escape. I don't. I think mount shouldn't be considered an escape. You're still in just as much trouble. Beautiful armbar escape. Now you can see he's getting tired here. Time to send in uh, more fresh grapplers. Very difficult thing to do. You're starting in a, the most disadvantageous position, and you're doing it over and over again with fresh grapplers. A very, very difficult thing to do. Here's a full body triangle. Look how he's escaping. He's shrimping his hip down to the mat, shrimping his left leg away. That pivots his hips. That's going to allow him now to, uh, uh, you know, create a create a rotation of his hips. Now, he, uh, Etienne was smart to follow him. Not always an easy thing to do. When you try to follow them, they spin back the other way. Here we have a power Nelson. This is also very grueling. There's a hip spin again. He's spinning those hips again, bridging, looking at his opponent changing orientation on his opponent now again he finds himself in armbar sometimes it's wise to give up the armbar just so you can escape because when things get sweaty like this armbars are very difficult to finish okay now of course if you're doing back escapes you also must know your armbar escapes you absolutely must know your armbar escapes because this is the kind of thing that's going to happen as you're escaping they go for armbar arm another successful back escape I think we can safely say that this man is a backscape expert. All right, more fresh grapplers. Everybody smelling blood, trying to get a kill here. Very difficult thing to do. Now, when your escapes are this good, you have so much confidence. You know, you have so much confidence to attack. Even if you make a mistake, even if, even if your aggression gets turned against you, you know you have an incredible... Look at those hip. Look at those hips, how he sh switches his hips. There you go. This is very difficult to hold on to. And of course, in this video, he's going to be showing you guys exactly how he does this. Look, we brought another man. This kumite is going on. I, I, I lost track of how long it's been going on, but it's a very, very long kumite. 
to escape one after another like this is oh there's the spinning there is the spinning hip escape hip heisting misdirection spin here we go we got luca fresh big strong luca now he's got that elbow deep we can see po here is very fatigued that elbow is deep i think this is it i think this is it we finally caught him the whole team it took uh quite a quite a number of attempts oh no he got out he got out again incredible here he is trying to pummel his hips in again he does a you guys have to pick up the dvd he's going to show you exactly how he does it but basically he he pummels his legs in a way that allows him to hip heist to flip his hips around look how he's trying to bridge grab luca's neck here so luca can't grab a rear choke these are all different pummeling tactics you can use there's no one way to escape they're all a variety there he is he's trying to run those hips again trying to hip heist misdirect luca wisely turning to a double underhook now he's going back over under whatever they go up whenever whenever they go over under and attempt to choke you could always start spinning those hips rotating those hips uh oh that arm is getting quite deep that arm is getting quite deep this is it i think this is it guys it's too deep it's too deep for a spin there it is there's the tap guys our champion our winner our back escape kumite pierre olivier leclerc po known as po Congratulations to him, guys. He won the Juji Club tournament. He won the Kumite. His video, find the link in the description. I gave $100 to the winner, the guy who could choke the Kumite champion. And uh, Luca got it. I gave him $100 <clears throat> in Bitcoin. Congratulations to Luca for being the man to tap the back escape uh, expert. And I hope you guys take a check out the link in the description. Find that video if you're interested in back escapes. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you.